Pauline Massard, Friends of Europe, you deal with security and global Europe. Can you tell us about the security jam? Absolutely. The Security Jam is basically a massive online brainstorm with several thousand participants from around the world. Uh, we've got over 110 countries registered so far. And it brings together about 50 VIPs, leading personalities, six ministers of foreign affairs and defence from Chile, the Netherlands, Belgium, um, six former ministers, personalities such as Javier Solana, Carl Bildt, Jaap de Hoopschefer, um, NGO leaders from Médecins Sans Frontières, Amnesty International, and I could just go on. We're very excited to have a great gender balance this year with uh, 21 female VIPs for 24 uh, almost 50 altogether. Um, the aim of the Security Jam is to develop some concrete and innovative recommendations to solve global security issues. These recommendations will feed into the EU's new global strategy and into NATO's uh, summit which will take place in July in Warsaw. The idea is also to distribute these results globally to have proper impact on policy, on issues ranging from terrorism to information sharing, global governance, human rights and development. What are the, the real concrete areas of cooperation, particularly from the European level, that you would like to see come out of this event? Well, there are several, uh, let's say, threads that we very much hope will come up. One is the increasing link between external, the external and the internal aspects of security. The migration crisis is obviously closely linked to what happened in the Middle East following the Arab Spring. Um, we, cannot, uh, we cannot forget uh, what's happening in Ukraine, obviously, and that in itself is having an impact on Syria. Obviously, the recently negotiated Iran deal is going to have ongoing consequences. Um, so I think we're looking forward to a very large set of, uh, of issues under discussion, as you mentioned. Um, but everything is interlinked, and the jam is the only platform which can effectively delete national, sectoral, and hierarchical barriers for truly effective crowdsourcing. But you're trying to attract a wider audience. Do you think that there will be a lot of people who are willing to participate voluntarily um, in this debate? Have you, have you reached a wider public already? You'd be surprised. This is the fourth time that we run the Security Jam. We've run it in 2010, 2012, and 2014. Um, we've reached over 4,000 participants in the past. People from academia, from governments, from the military, from newspapers log on and share their ideas and want to hear from others. The jam is marvelous. You'll have a five-star general in Washington, D.C., jamming with a humanitarian worker in the Sudan, a journalist in Berlin jamming with an MP from South Africa, perhaps a military uh, leader in Singapore jamming with a think tanker in London. It really is just a unique exercise. How can people join in on the jam? It's very simple. Go to securityjam.org and following us on Twitter, uh, hashtag secjam16.